Well, we've got Hildebrand stuff to do. Isn't that right, Seer? The GG situation. Seer must once more enter into a world he does not quite understand. I pray this day finds you well, Jake, or at least better than it finds me. It seems I have no choice but to seek out that inspector and convince him to surrender up his mammoth to me. Twas unearthed under most suspicious circumstances, after all, and who can say what secrets or heresy it might hold. Therefore, the Inquisition would conduct a thorough inspection and, if need must, destroy it. Given his affinity for the contraption, I fear the inspector may not be amenable to my request. Nevertheless, he must be made to see that it is in the interest of public safety. Would you be willing to help me persuade him? I mean, nod, but good luck with that. Fury be praised. At least you have seen reason. Let us pray he will as well. I am given to understand that while the inspector and his assistant have been wandering all over the city with the mammoth in tow, they often frequent the gazebo near Fortalp Manor. With any luck, they will be there now. Gazebos are going to be a running gag, aren't they? For this whole thing. All right. Well, oh yeah, I think that recruitment notice is to a place called the Firmament, which I think is something to do with the crafting nonsense. But hang on a second. I was like, wait, why is there something in the Sea of Clouds? I think that has to do with another quest entirely. But GG. Do the very pinnacle of the heavens. Snashu. Isn't she adorable? Oh boy. That's gonna be another thing. GG as a he and she, just interchangeably. Hildebrand. Verily shall we scour all creation, from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, for the answers we seek. Every day shall be filled with grand adventures, the stop of fairy tales and legends. Huzzah! A grand adventure in the deepest pit of the seven hells! Just so. Such is the creed of Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Pose. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! He's got the little robot doing it. Well posed, Gigi. Well posed. I dare say you have the potential to be an exemplary inspector someday. Right, that's enough of that. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Hellonic Inquisitory Doctrine, I hereby command you to surrender that mammoth of suspected heretical origin into my custody. Why, hello there, Jake, an Inquisitor Seer, ever the jester, accusing poor Gigi of being a clockwork heretic when it is plain to see that he is merely a precious young lad. Oh, there you go again, confusing the poor girl, as if those big, beautiful, boxy eyes aren't the soul of femininity. Nashu, please, were you not witness to the magnificent display of Mandervillian masculinity mere moments ago? That's because you haven't taught her any better. She needs a proper role model to show her what's what. Oh boy, is this a pose off? Oh dear, nod, sigh. Master Anamur, Inspector Seer, what is all this commotion? We can hear you from the courtyard. Who is this? Oh hey, it's uh, Count Fortom. Oh, Lord Edmond, uh, my serest apologies for the disturbance. I am come to seize this mammoth on behalf of the Inquisition, a fact which I clearly explained to the inspector before you arrived. At which point they set to bickering about the contraption's gender. What say you, my lord? Do you think Gigi is a boy or a girl? She's clearly a strapping young lad, no? <laughs> Fury, take me, not you too! Has the whole world gone mad? <laughs> fine, fine, but even supposing that this Gigi is a real boy, you cannot deny, deny that the circumstances of his discovery and miraculous resuscitation were most unusual. He cannot be suffered to roam the city with impunity until the Inquisition has determined he is not a threat. I beg your pardon. Miraculous resuscitation? So yeah, we found him in a snowbank, and then we got we banged the crap out of him. He woke up. 
I see. And until such a time as Gigi recovers his memories, mayhap it would be best if you adopted him as a ward of House Manderville. I will even stand as witness here and now, if you wish. <laughs> Adopt? Then that would make me Gigi's father! Doubtless the Inquisition would think better of taking any action which might threaten the cordial relationship between our two houses. Yes, yes, of course. I'll do it. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, do hereby grant this child the patronage of House Manderville. Baba Hildy. Baba Hildy. <laughs> oh, the inspector's finally become a father. It's, it's so beautiful. Quite. <clears throat> Now that you no, need no longer fear the Inquisition, you are free to show Gigi more of our fair city. Indeed, I strongly encourage you to do so. Mayhap, by the grace of the Fury, something will jog his memory. Thank you, Lord Edmond. I shall not forgive, forget this kindness. Come, my faithful assistant, my beloved son, we must away. Nod, nod, nod. Oh, Halone, I will not presume to question your grand design, but God, confound it all! Well, mayhap I cannot detain the mammoth, but I am still within my rights to observe the blasted thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Lord Godward will be pleased to hear that his son is as hale and hearthy as ever. Not that I would ever presume to meddle on another father's behalf, and certainly not without consent. Nod. Nod. Alright, speak with Hildebrand outside Fort Tom Manor complete. But now we need to follow GG. Two other quests. Oh yeah, Dark Spectacle, what you signed. Those are Dark Knight and Astrologian quests for the new jobs that I haven't touched because... Oh, hang on. He's over this way. Ow, my ankles! Alright, Seer. Ah, how long must I stand around waiting for that mamma to do something passively heretical? <laughs> Not you. Kor, look at all them halberds. I've never seen such a well-armed building before. Oh, that way on the distance? Yeah, in fact, I think I hit this button. Yeah. Yeah, that is a well-armed building, isn't it? Alright, oh, hang on. Alright. Nope, I already talked with you. Hildebrand. Judging by the size of their estate, their wealth... Their... Okay, they've wealth to rival House Manderville. Mm. Come now, Gigi. Surely gazing upon this wondrous work of his guardian architecture stirs something within your soul. This grand manor of House Durin... Uh, House Durin... Meltepsard? <laughs> Pray do not fill the boy... The mammoth's head with such nonsense. That is to the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Halonic Inquisitory Doctrine. I should know. I work there. Furthermore, I am quite certain that there is no House Durin Mel Tempsart, and that it is a rather a ludicrous portmanteau of the four high houses, including that esteemed house which but recently stood as witness to your adoption. Well, GD, do you remember anything? No, nothing. I say, rather than parading him before this grandi before the grandiose, why not give him a taste of something more prosaic? Let us make our way to the holy stables that he might bask in the singular sights, sounds, and smells of Ishgard's famous chocobos. Alright, accompany Gigi to the holy stables. Uh, I believe that's going to be outside the steelworks factory. Should be that way. Yeah. Alright, where is... Ah, there's one. I was looking for an Ethernet shard. Let's all hop aboard. What is... Hang on. To rule this guy's... Oh, that's like the main quest. Alright. <laughs> that's not what I want to do right now. Stables are over here. Yeah, right now the main quest, I'm at the... Very pivotal moment... Of the story. But of course I put that aside because Hildebrand's just too dang funny. Alright, Seer. Patience, patience. A watched heretic never sins. <laughs> Such noble creatures, Chocobos. How many halcyon days did I pass in the saddle, racing across the windswept plains? Nashu? 
So if I wanted hair that color, I'd have to eat plums, vol fruits, and pineapples. But how many? <laughs> That's a reference to actually changing your chocobo color, which you can do, but you need a house. Or, I think, an apartment. But GG! Splendid specimens of horse bird flesh, would you not agree? In the hands of a skilled jockey, any one of them could take first place at the saucer. Those chocobos are the pride of the Ishgardian cavalry, and any temple knight would to dare exploit them for personal gain would answer to the fury herself. How about now, Gigi? Do you remember anything about Ishgard? Be sure to sniff the chocobos. It might help. Don't do that. They, they smell awful. It didn't. You know, just because you found him in a Kurthan snowbank, it doesn't mean he hails from Ishgard. Which is why we ought to try taking him to the markets and exposing him to all matters of goods from across Eorzea. Excellent suggestion, Inquisitor! Wait, am I now complicit in this farce? Fury, forgive me. Nod. But I want one. I want one. Buy me a chocobo, please, father. Hmm? Oh? Father, that strange looking thing is staring at us. G -g 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 uh oh. Am I that strange looking? All right, up next to the Jeweled Crozier. Or Crozier, whatever, however it's pronounced. All right, da, 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 da. here we go. Right back where we found Nashu at the very start of this whole quest chain. go. A merchant amendment. You know, I'm very curious. Anything? Oh, yeah. I'll take all this. That, and this, and that, and that. There we go. I was like, man, I really need to buy the music for this place, but it's literally just available right there. Let me just pop these off. I have a Titan's heart. Why do I have a Titan's heart? Oh, that's because I did uh, part of the quest. You have to go fight Titan again. All right, let's just sort through all that. Actually, I got an elegant silver piece. You know, maybe I should have done this off camera. <laughs> but yeah, I've got a lot of junk. Just a lot of junk. <laughs> Stuff I barely even use. All right. Hildebrand. These goods would fetch a high price at Uldah. Nashi, what are you looking at? What if I picked one with my eyes closed? It gave it as a name day gift to myself. Oh, I wonder what I'd get me. Seer, receive your orders, detain your heretic, meet your quota. Fury, take me. It used to be so simple. Frightening on occasion, I grant you. What with my mentor's little episodes, but simple nonetheless. All right, GG. Why bother? It's no use. Now, now, Gigi, you must not give in to despair so easily. Did I not promise you days filled with grand adventures and the eventual discovery of your mislaid memories? Spirits, Gigi, spirits! <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Uh oh.
My word! A vase flung to the ground with reckless abandon! Could this be the opening salvo of an indiscriminate campaign of vandalism? <laughs> One waged by your wild gesticulations, perhaps? At least look before you strike a pose. The gods only know how much that vase cost. I've got... 123,504,000 gil at last assessment. Twas over 700 years old and graced at homes of a dozen archbishops, eight counts, two lord commanders, and one duke. Oh my goodness. That is an expensive vase. 100 million gil? <clears throat> oh, Haloni, why have you forsaken me? Oh, but, but, oh, well, would you look at that? Well, Gigi has the ability to repair, does he? Or her? Or it? it it's a miracle! Nay, the divine intervention of the Fury herself! Did I do that? Gigi, my boy, that was marvelous! You're a born artisan, just like Father! Papa Hildes, Papa! Your grandpapa, Godbert, the man who woke you with a few gentle taps to the noggin. You wouldn't believe what else he could do with that hammer of his. Why, some folks say he wields the very powers of life and death. Once he and the missus come back from their tour of the Western Highlands, I'm sure they'd love to see that trick of yours. Do not demean this mammoth's power as a mere parlor trick. We just witnessed a miracle, and I demand that you all acknowledge it. This mammoth. Sir, I, I say, sir. 100 million gil for the mammoth. Nay, 100 million gil and the duke's priceless vase. My word, is this what passes for trade in Ishgard? Gigi is my flesh and blood. I will not sell him at any price. Please, Papa Hildy, no more. I know you mean well, but we can deny the truth no longer. I am a mammoth. Gigi, whatever has gotten into you, you are my son. You are a mandeville man. Listen to your papa, Gigi. You're a mandible girl, through and through. Stop it, both of you. You're not my papa or my mama. When did Ashu get to be... whatever. <clears throat> well. Ah, uh, the unmistakable scent of... well, perhaps not heresy, exactly. Regardless, that mammoth's power cannot be allowed to fall into the wrong hands. Nashu? Oh, children do say the most hurtful things. You know what? That is very true. Hildebrand. Well, it is only to be expected. Gigi is at a rebellious age. Strange as it, <laughs> strange as it may sound, I too tested my parents' patience, and that on more than one occasion. Guilty as well. So, so guilty of that as well. But if they can weather the storm, then so can I. I see we find out what's got him thinking he's a mammoth. But he is a mammoth. How can you not? Oh, never mind. Hmm. Just so we're clear, you do agree that it's a mammoth, right? You don't honestly believe that, you know... <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mean what he said about his Papa Hildy, which means... <gasps> he thinks I'm his mama?! <laughs> oh boy. Hildebrand knows in his heart that love transcends dimensions of time and space, definitions of man and machine. The measure of a mammoth. The course of fatherhood never did run smooth, but I, Hildebrand, guardian of Gigi, doting parent extraordinaire, shall find a way to overcome this trial and be reconciled with my beloved son. That's the spirit. Solving a simple case of childhood rebellion should be easy for a man who unmasked, whose unmasked thieves defeated duelists and led armies of the undead. Yes, yes, that's all very... Wait, what's this about the undead? Actually, don't tell me. For now, all that matters is finding that mammoth. We should begin by speaking with the sentry stationed at the city gates and the airship landing. If, Fury help us, he's left Ishgard, we need to know about it sooner rather than later. 
I will visit the Ark of the Worthy while the inspector and his assistant head to the airship landing. You can question the guard at the gate near the manufactory, after which we will regroup there and share our findings. Dismissed. All right, break. <laughs> well, then if I head this way. All right, oh, I can use Pelton as well. There we go. Off to the manufactory. Yep, there we go. Having some fun. Lots of fun. All right, here, Ward. What do we got? Hey, so have you seen a little boy like this tall? Looks like Gigi from, Gigi from Final Fantasy IX. Little fellow with a wide brimmed hat. Ah, he came through here, bought passage on a supply ship bound for Falcon's Nest. One of them was named Lollafells, right? Funny little buggers. Seemed keen to be anywhere but here. Almost just people walking outside. Eh. I was like, what's out of the corner of my eye? Nah, it's just neighbors walking. Let them, let them be, right? Exercise is good. Well, if Gigi left the city, it was not by the main gates. And the sentries at the airship landing have seen no one matching his description. So, yeah, he went this way to go over to Falcon's Nest. Falcon's Nest? Fury, take me. Must be returned to that freezing pit of despair. Wheresoever Gigi goes, I will follow him and find him and embrace him as my son once more. However, I surmise our final destination lies far beyond the walls of said outpost. Indeed, there is but one reason he would return to those frozen wastes. To frolic in the snow and cast his worries to the winds. Really? He seemed in no mood to frolic when last I saw him. As I recall, he used his arcane powers to mend a vase, only to become morose and belligerent when it became clear to him that he was, in fact, a mammoth. One might even say he remembered what he was, remembered his purpose, and so he returned to Western Curthus, that famous breeding ground for heresy where first we found him. Home to his heretic masters to share with them the intelligence he had gathered on the city. At long last, the undeniable, the unquestionable, the unmistakable sense of her scent of heresy. What are we standing around for? We have a heretic to catch. Inspector, I'm starting to think that Inquisitor Seer might not think very highly of our little girl. Nod. It is possible, but I would not presume to know his feelings ere he voiced them explicitly. Until such time as he does, we shall endeavor to surreptitiously bring him round to the opinion that Gigi is a boy of pure heart and good intent. Subtlety in all things, Nashu, that is the mandible way. Ah. Uh -huh. All right. Rendezvous with Seer outside Falcon's Nest, which is right outside these doors. Alright, how far do I gotta go? I gotta go. Oh boy. Uh, wh where am I supposed to go here? Take a look at the map. Oh, it's right there. Alright. There we go. Ooh, classic Scooby-Doo, the footprints. I would know those tiny footprints anywhere. Gigi came this way. Nashu. Aw, even her footprints are adorable. They almost look like they were made by one of those clockwork minions. <laughs> the tracks continue to the north. Aha! I knew it! The mammoth immediately left the outpost and looks to have headed north along the river. By the fury, I cannot wait to finally catch him in the company of heretics. I don't much like your tone, Inquisitor. If our baby girl ran afoul of any heretics, she'd look them square in the eye and tell them she doesn't want any. Hey, Inspector, I think I just had one of those moments, you know, of insight. Maybe Gigi came out here to find Lord Godbert. I did tell her her grandpapa might like to see that trick of hers. Brilliant deduction, Nashu. He must be eager to meet his grandparents. The selfsame ones he renounced when he declared you were not his father. <laughs> what a fine young gentleman, eager to explore his heritage. Let us make haste, my friends, for a reunion of three generations of Mandeville's beckons. I really can't be bothered. <laughs> Try 
tracks continue north. All right, let's get another one of my mounts out. Uh, you know what? Let's get the White Lantern out. This is one of the Tombstone event mounts. As you can tell by the bubbly effect, there's a... I'm pretty sure most of these mounts come from extreme versions of Trials that I haven't done yet. One in particular, I think, uh, it's like one of the uh, wolf mounts I've got. There are lyrics that spoil what happened if you listen carefully enough. I started paying attention to the lyrics. I'm like, wait, oh, wait, I shouldn't be listening to that. The tracks continue to the north. All right. And back to Lakewind because he's my boy. All right, where are the footprints? There are, oh, what's going on here? What is going on here? Oh, well, there's Jillian. There's Godbert. That's a lot of <laughs> Oh, boy. The mammoth lies motionless in the snow. Fragments of ice stuck to its cap, suggesting the impact of something small and round traveling at high speed. <laughs> Pow! Right in the kisser. A to GG. All right, get up. Uh, my head who oh it's you you followed me oh Gigi if you wanted to have a snowball fight with your grandparents you should have said so earlier Papa Hildy was very worried though he is glad to see that you are unharmed it would seem that he was struck by a snowball much like these Steinbox these dead Steinbox are you sure he isn't damaged as if a mere blow to the head could fail our GG. We might, we Mandervilles are made of sterner stuff. I think I may have misread Sears' line as Hildebrand. Oops. <laughs> I myself have been driven headfirst into the earth on no fewer than two dozen occasions, several times from Malm's above, and my mind is no less brilliant from the experience. <laughs> Poor Sears. <sighs> I expected the earth was no less brilliant from the experience. I. Why are you... Are you nodding? Oh, he's behind me, isn't he? <laughs> what good fortune to cross paths with you lot so far from civilization. Forgive me for not taking notice earlier. I was engrossed in my duel with Julian. But how rude of me. Would you care to join us? Grandpapa Godbert. Grandpapa Godbert. Mama Nashu says you wield the power of life and death. I beg of you, Grandpa Godbert. Grant me life. Make me a real boy. Oh boy, we're going for the Pinocchio approach, are we? I don't think that's how it works, kid, but we'll give it a shot. Are you sure about this, son? It may sting a little. I will endure whatever I must to become a real boy. This is going to turn out horrible. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a smart idea to back up. This is going to get a little weird, isn't it? Then let us begin. Oh boy. This body, it's everything I ever wanted. It's perfect. Thank you, Grandpapa Godbert. Thank you. Oh, but I have not even begun to begin. My regard, guide my hammer. Oh boy. It's all rather silly. Oh no. <laughs> Papa Hildy, I'm I'm a Manderville man. 
Digi, my son, come to your father. Let me have a look at you. <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> Papa, he'll do... Gigi! What's gonna ruin the moment? What's gonna ruin the moment? Something has to. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> He's dabbing. Oh no. Oh, with the clothesline right to the face. <laughs> oh. Oh boy, this is going to complicate things. Ow. Yeah, he's a Vanderbilt man, all right. <laughs> Now that brings back some memories. Oh no. Papa Hildy? Oh dear, what? Who could have done such a thing? Oh? Oh? Oh, he repaired himself back to that, huh? By the fury, it's just like the vase all over again. Miraculously restored to its original form. <laughs> Gigi, my boy. Upon further consideration, I believe that this body may suit you best. It is, how shall I put it, more manageable. <laughs> And much more adorable. But how can I ever be accepted as your son if I remain a mammoth? Is that what's been troubling you all this time? But why didn't you say so? Mandeville is more than mere flesh and bone. He is vigor, compassion, honor, a gentleman for all seasons. Be you man or machine, it makes no difference. If they call you a mammoth, you look them in the eye and say, Nay, I am a Manderville mammoth. Mother, father, forgive me for not consulting with you earlier, but circumstances forced my hand. I have formally adopted Gigi as my son and ward of House Manderville. Ye gods, I knew he was fond of the mammoth. Did you hear that, woman? Our son's gone and got himself a son! Grandpapa Godbert, Grandpapa Godbert. Ha, huh, it all makes sense now. Grandpapa Godbert and Grandmama Julian. I've been waiting years to hear those words. Grandpapa Godbert, Grandmama Julian. Few things in life are grander than becoming a grandparent, as they say. <laughs> Julian's not happy, I don't think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh! And what's so bloody grand about it?
What? What? <laughs> oh no! Why is Julian so unhappy that she's a grandmother now? Please don't kill me. I'll not be made grandmother to a bloody buggering mammoth. It's past time I beat some sense into my beloved boy. Fury, take me. I've heard the tales of Dark Knights before, but no, no, it couldn't be. No, I think it was something far worse. Heretical, like as not, but rules be damned. I'm not risking my life to find out. <laughs> Oh boy. Seer, buddy, you, uh, you gonna hold it together? They're mad. They're mad. Utterly mad. The whole damn lot of them. How their house could rise to such prominence, I will never understand. Well, at least the mammoth seems to have overcome its existential crisis. Before today, I didn't know a mammoth could even have an existential crisis. Wait, what am I saying? It's a mammoth! Why should I care what it claims to think or feel? Fury, take me. Their idiocy is infectious. I mustn't allow myself to fall prey to it. Follow procedure, report to your superior. One step at a time, one step at a time. Nod. Oh. Several people are watching us. Dun dun dun. Alright, time to speak with Seer and Foundation. Uh, back to the map. The measure of a mammoth. Foundation, let's go. What you got for me, sir? Right then, my superiors, having been informed of the mammoth's adoption by House Manderville, as witnessed by House Fortomp, proceeded to take me to task for my gross mishandling of the situation. They remain convinced that the mammoth is the product of heretical machinations and have commanded me to redouble my efforts to prove this incontro incontrovertible fact. There are so many big words, right? It's an MMO from Japan. Of course, it's going to use a lot of big English words. That may prove problematic, however, as Gigi seems to has, have forsaken his quest to recover his memories and thrown himself wholly into his new life as a Manderville mammoth, casting about for any hint of a case alongside his doting father. In any event, though I do not share my superior's conviction, I think it's safe to say that there is something exceedingly unusual about that mammoth. You saw with your own eyes how, effortly, how effortlessly it restored that vase, and itself, to its original form. Reconstructive magics are not particularly rare, but his are unlike any I have ever seen before. All right. Spectre Hildebrand, Nashu, Seer, Godbert, ah yeah, <laughs> Gigi. See you, Inspector, on the next episode of the Hildebrand Adventures. <laughs> I kind of wish there were some captions or something, but oh well. All right, yeah. Let's go for Team Hildebrand. Yeah, I love that emote set so much. <laughs>